This is Morgan Sams. He is an insurgent, a highly trained one. However, he was the unlucky soldier who had a decent life in his stay for 20 day evacuation. As all he had to do was make a base and survive for 20 days. And so he was quite decent at his job as he only had a few problems such as combat anxiety and he was quite slow at helping his wounds heal. Yet he was pretty good at reading, he liked gardening, he knew how to work a generator, he also knew how to breathe properly. He did do little carpentry but it wasn't his main suit. He loved his 44 magnums and he liked to get close and personal but he was actually quite handy. So this is his story of Morgan Sams and his journey on his 20 day vacation in Moldra or Moldura where you come from and so we can see how he lived out his life and it could have been short, long, medium but we'll have to see how he actually lived from our camera work in the sky. It's quite terrible. Can't believe it. But at least there's plenty of food. I hope. I spent most of my time in the in the time given of searching the little caravan area for food. And so I didn't find that much exciting stuff, but it was good enough to rest out the mist and fog and yet I didn't really talk much since I needed to con concentrate on the area at hand. But the more important matter was trying to find a home and a possible base that could help me live in a dire situation. And so you can obviously see how my life skipped a few bits for your obvious entertainment of his life. Just need to clear you all. The mist was dangerous, and yet I had to keep going until I found a safe home and then prepare it for the future hordes to come, which would be coming on five days. And all I had to do was hope to get lucky and find a two-storey or one-storey house, which I did soon find. But I only had limited supplies until I could properly get lucky and be extremely ready and sorted. As I was looking into the mist, I stumbled upon a few houses which I searched, as you can see. Yet one caught my eye. It was quite a big house. Possibly filled with good loot, plenty of room, plenty of storage. And all it needed was just a deep clean. And so, I might as well look in, check it around, and see if it's actually worth it. And surprisingly, it was worth it. And I decided to keep it as my home. Until a lot of things happened. Now, soon enough, I am getting hunted by hordes and many dangers in this journey. Yep, you can stay there for a bit. I just need stuff like that rots. So I could try over there first. Hood. Okay. Okay. Stop breaking my window. Okay. Calm. Again.
34 slots. <sighs> That's good. That might have a generator as well. Oh, okay. Need to clean it. No. Spin. The telly. All right, good. <sighs> you dare. Hammer. Um. Whew. One and two. Spin and look. Door locked. It's officially day one. No alarm. No alarm. Thank God these these zomboids don't get attracted to dead corpses. Oh my, again. <laughs> On day one, well, officially day one, it was quite boring. Uh, there was nothing really to do since on the morning I had to clean the surrounding area up for a few and well I did get a new telly as you did see but more or less I was going to search the house again and yep there was a big massive hard so that took time out of my day and what could I do? Simple. I could only search, scavenge, do some rearranging of my house, make some fortifications on my base and, well, speed everything up since I would be too tired, too panicked, too stressed, and obviously a bit too dirty, and possibly over encumbered due to how much I'm holding at different times. Since I am holding a revolver, a knife, a machete, a bit of food, some ammo, and a, another gun. 
so overall day one was eventful, but I hoped day two would have been better. Only a few days. <sighs> 14 degrees, not that hot. Do you want? Hmm. We'll check there. Big house, I need it. I will not be fishing. You have a screwdriver in the back of you. Hey. Come on. One. Three. Oh, hello. You look decent. Oh. Take the metal. Take these, take that. Take that. Don't need that. The chair. Terrible. After searching a few houses and looking around, I decided to go, well, pretty much upwards after I've gotten some gear from the sheds. And so my first idea was to try and find the first house I see while heading upwards. And it was somewhat a good idea until either there was too much noise or I just have bad luck, which you can see easily. But I do get somewhat lucky now and again during the following days as I could easily find a good amount of food in a short span. I just had to get lucky, after all. However, I did kind of get lucky, as, as I kept searching around. I think I did roughly find a generator at some point, but the thing was, I have took too much time searching that I had to really get home, and, well, you can obviously see how long it did take from the little speed up footage. But overall, I did a successful search and got pretty lucky when it comes to getting cooking items and, well, the essentials. So possibly in the wealthy region, they should all be gone by now. 
Well, I hope so. Oh, oh, you saw me. There you go. Because that house with all those Zeds around has a shed. And I need it. Too bad we don't give us suppressors. Come on. Get you all over. Scan. There you go, get your all attention. Come on. Right. Now we'll search. If I can stay away from them. Well, they're over there, so it's not bad. Hmm. Hello. However, I did kind of get lucky uh, as, as I kept searching around. I think I did roughly find a generator at some point, but the thing was, I've took too much time searching that I had to really get home, and... Well, you can obviously see how long it did take from the little speed-up footage. But overall, I did a successful search and got pretty lucky when it comes to getting cooking items and, well, the essentials. Now the real thing is, can I actually carry it around? I'm gonna have to... Wait, no. If I don't have anything place it, that means I can't even use it. So I need building material. Little farm place there, farm plot. Nope. <sighs> As I was searching around, I stumbled upon a shed where obviously you did see I got a generator, but more importantly, I found a farm plot. And so I was quite. Happy really, since I would get plenty of food to last me longer. And so, all I did was start harvesting. 
as I did have a bit of a good level in my farming skill, and so I did start grabbing it, where all there was was potato and tomato and a few carrots, which were somewhat decent, but overall I had to be careful since the area was much more dangerous than I expected. Since there was a bent house, a few sheds, some blocked homes, and that's how dangerous it really was. So, I can obviously tell how rich that area is. If nearly every little house has a possible farm plot, I can try and find a bag in that area and steal the dirt. The question is, when am I going to find the bag? I could have made downstairs my base, but it would have been a terrible idea. The only good place we have is the upstairs. When I got back home, I decided to, well, build my little wall up again with a microwave and a table, and then decide to get everything in storage already, since I was carrying a lot of items and food. So, I just had to find anywhere possible to place all the food, such as the fridge, and then I didn't really have much to do in the house, so I try to find something to do, like, well, clean the clothes, fill it with the water, cooking, cutting, maybe doing tailoring, but overall I did go to sleep a few times, and so, the day was kind of used up, but I did decide to go outside now and again, just to scavenge around more, always destroying stuff. Get you cleaned up. Hmm. So, we'll keep searching the area because I need to find hammers saws, nails, and wood. But not really wood because there's plenty of trees I'm going to break down. Maybe I'll need a shovel. Still there. Not good. Actually, what's all this about here? There's boxes in there. This may have what I need. Unless it's not refurbished. Hilarious. Oof, that's a lot. I'll just walk around, if you don't mind. Survivor house. Ow.
There we go. Alright, gotta be careful now. I'm injured on my arm. And there's a lot of sur dead survivors here. There we go, they're moving. Pff, a lot of them actually. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run it. Okay. With the zombies behind me, I had really no choice to, well, leave the area and come back the next few days. And so, I started running while injured, and it was all because I fell over on a branch, as you could see. But there was a quite a big heart in front of me, and honestly. I couldn't really do much except round them. I was going to go through behind doors, through houses, doing anything I can just to get out of their way and not have them follow me. And, well, it was quite horrible actually, since somewhat bleeding out until I bandaged it. And overall, I think I did it correctly. But thankfully I did get home, and it was quite late after I was restocking everything. And so that would conclude day three, and honestly, it could have been better for my own life. Yet there was nothing I could really do to pass the time even more. On the morning of day four I was shocked to realise that it was a hard night today and so I had to get prepared extremely quickly even though I was supposed to realize that the hordes would come every five days apparently I may have been wrong since this was actually quite hard for a first hard night as you may see and so I decided to look around and scavenge for a bit to see if I have any more chances of surviving and get in more help. There's a guy in a heavy camel there. Yeah, nothing good. I'll wear that. Um, a house. But it's a ton of. I know where the helicopter went. I know where the helicopter went. This is when I realised when the helicopters were coming in. They were attracting hordes from all over the area, 
into my zone and especially the places where I want to search but luckily it was quite a good thing since there was a few weird things I found in that little hard from now on and so they had kind of strong armor that I may have needed for possible future attacks and so I might as well clean the hard out to get what I want okay not bad I can change outfit to become better Hey. Oh. Again with all of them. Right, enough time wasting. I need a hammer and a saw. Oh, I'm back here. Okay. Over here it is because there's a wall. My command may be asking, why are you wearing the inappropriate attire? I go, well, it's either that or I die. I'm not going there. Because I'm going here. Uh oh. Cleaned. Right. I'm gonna have to get home now and change. a shame but at least I have new outfits of Epsilon. I mean you stitch a hole in them though. Maybe I'll get lucky and a helicopter will appear and help me. As it hit 22, the hard was coming, and I hoped I was ready.
possible helicopter. It's blue. Must be the police. And they obviously go to my zone. Uh, what are the ideas, eh? A helicopter goes by, and it's the police. Uh, what can I do? Well, it's only seven o'clock. Somewhat of a hard. Let's just get the axe out first instead. Because I may just need to clean the corpses up for a little while. Is that a helicopter? Oh, it is. Police. Well, that's good. We're going up the other way around. Wait. So, there. As long as they're out of my area, then I should be fine. After some time went past, I decided to, well, clean out the staircase. Well, in a very odd manner where I slipped my hands through the barricades just to grab the corpses and throw them outside. This was all because I didn't want to die of corpse sickness as that would be very terrible and I've possibly had some worse cases before. And so that was my main rule of doing the cleanup before I leave the house to go scavenge other places just in case. That's a fireman. Uh oh. He might have something good on him though, but I don't see an axe. Either I don't need one. But you guys may be a problem towards me. And spin. There is really a lot. A lot. Okay. Mini you pull the gun. Right, guns coming out. Move it.
Out of my way. Right, we can't go here. Why are there so many over here? I know I've shot my gun a few times, but that doesn't mean they can all over be here. Come on, where are you? Right, we're fine. I hope. Right. This is actually quite tough now. So over here, there's too many. So my rough estimation would be here. So we'll have to move upwards to here. Since I have a feeling if I go around here, police station. I feel like. Since I can't do much in this day, I can at least reload everything. Well, there's zombies to me left and to me right. I just need to find out where essentially they are. Well, it's only been five days, nearly gonna be six in a minute. No zombies. Good. I can move. Storage. Water. Bedroom. Might as well sleep. Well, from how many helicopters have been going around, the wealthy zone should be cleared out by now. It's only took like six days. May as well take you out. Hello. You look quite decent. Too bad you don't have anything good. Come on. Well, 
Where did that come from? There you are. Whoa. Oh, helicopter again. Not really a good time. As there were too many helicopters going around, it was kind of dangerous to my life, so I had to run, and run quite quickly to anywhere that is safe, so I can look around and find more possible helpful items for my survival. And so I was running around, I found an odd little building, it's made out of wood, near a shed, has a big plot of land. A lot of crops I do need, and so, I might as well look at it, and what does it look like? Well, it's all boarded off, and there's something, or someone, inside it. And so, this obviously indicates that I need to go in, quickly, and see what is actually good in it, and I was actually quite shocked from what I saw. I could try, see if there's anything good. Nothing really good. Shame. Whoa. All right. Hammer. We getting lucky here. I need to go home. Good weapons. Now quickly check. Yep, just straight forward. Got another hole now. Come on, follow me. Just gotta follow me and we'll be fine.
There we go. As I escaped from the horde from all the helicopters, I decided to, well, quickly run back home and put everything away. But however, I had little to no room. So all I could do was, well, stockpile everything and start resorting my inventory and luggage. And so it it took that long that I did not have enough time to do anything else. So all I did was stay inside the house and rest up for a bit. And obviously fall asleep now and again. Watched some TV, did some random objects and some reading. And then I went to sleep for the day. And, well, woke up for day seven. As I may have took too many sleeping tablets. I hope I can skip this day out then. And that's what I exactly did since, well, there were too many alarms, too many helicopters, and so I really could not do anything for the entire day. Since it's only been a few days after the Horde, and there could be more zomboids walking around. And obviously, due to all the helicopters going around, as mentioned, they were all around me, and I could never escape the area. So all I had to do was stay inside and hope they leave the area. And so this day was really not that much exciting than the others. And so I just had to think, what could I do for the extra few days I have? In which came day eight. And let's sleep for a bit. Day 8. Okay, there's some downstairs. Oh, hello. Come here, please. I'm gonna have to wait for a bit again. Just gotta wait. Right. I can't handle this because now they're all congregating over here. Oh, this is fun. Hello. Stay down. There you go. Keep them coming. Downstairs, I can hear him. <sighs> Come on. Check some quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, pretty stylish there. Come on. I was gonna go out and search, but no. I had to have a helicopter over hard. I need a new weapon. Um. This was the end of day eight, where the horde finally came, and so I had to prepare for the end, and to see if I could live long enough for day 20. As for day 8, I could not do anything for the night, as I was too busy cleaning up corpses from the hard, well, from the slightly small hard that I had to clean up in the staircase, and so that meant that day was all wasted, as I could not, I could not escape from the home or anywhere else, and so all I could do was wait at day 9, since it would be able to help me. Gonna eat these a bit. And of course, another helicopter. What are you wearing? Let's go jumpsuit. Yep. Alright, they're shooting now. Summit died near me. As the day was getting late from all the constant hordes coming at my door, it was soon enough to be hard night. As soon as it hits 22, I heard them all, and they all started parading, all the way towards my demise. Oh, the windows go open. Oh, oh! Get away! Hey! Ow! Uh oh! Ow! I am not running away, I'm going to fight him. You aren't getting in. Why have I stopped? Why have they stopped?
Oh no. I've lost my helmet as well. I want a time. We only stop it for a little bit. Come on, come on. Map of Moldra. Good job, cowboy. Let's commemorate you for getting in. <sighs> They're all up here. Oh. Yeah, I think we're dead here. Can't fight me. No. Ow. Help. Morgan Sams had survived eight grueling days in a world where death lurked around every corner. Each day had been a relentless struggle against the undead, and the creeping desire that threatened to consume him. He had fought with everything he had found. He found food, water, and many zombies that threatened him. And so, this is Morgan Sam's. Yet, on the ninth day, on the ninth hard. And so, he attacked them while defending the barricades, and yet they broke. And so, he retreated into his last stand. That was Morgan Sam's.